Hi, this is Scott Marshman with eCabinets Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add some code to our user form to our Import Selected Worksheets button here. That's going to allow us to automatically remove all the inch symbols that comes after these numbers in the different worksheets. I was going to start this video out with modifying this five-piece door breakdown, but I quickly realized that, hey, you know, we may be dealing with the sheet component listing later on, and we're going to have to do the same thing on that worksheet. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can automatically do it when you import any of the worksheets into our master workbook. So what I've done was I recorded a couple of macros, um, text to columns, and find and replace, where I found the inch symbol or double quotes there and replaced them with nothing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and modify this recorded macro here. What I want to do is I want to replace this word sales here with ws.useRange. And then I'm going to go into my form select sheets user form here. Double click on my import selected worksheets and it brings us into our code that imports the different worksheets. And if you remember, I've got uh, WS defined as a worksheet. This is the worksheets that we're looking at in our master workbook in this particular loop right here that looks at the individual worksheets that may already exist in our master workbook. What I want to do is go ahead and set WS and tell it to equal the master workbook, M-A-S-T-W-B there, dot sheets and CB cap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my module here that I made, recorded macros, and I've got my macros stored in that module. And I'm going to copy this. Everything except for N sub. Come back into my user form and my code here. And right after set WS, I'm just going to paste it right there. And just neaten this up a little bit. Now, what I need to do is I need to take this block of code here. I need to copy it one more time. And down here, after it's gone through this loop and it has not found the worksheet that we selected in our user form, it's going to actually copy it from the eCabinets workbook. Right after here, I'm going to paste that right there. And that's going to automatically remove all the inch symbols for us. So let's check that out and see if that works. I'm going to come into my master workbook here. Click on my button, and I'm just going to select the five-piece door breakdown and import that. And come in here and check it out. You can see that it automatically removed all those inch symbols. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you could loop through all these individual columns. In each worksheet that we import, we're going to perform text to columns and convert that to a number, as well as set the number format for that column. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. And hey, if this video helped you out, how about giving me a thumbs up? And make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get all my latest tips and tricks. And as always, thank you for watching and have a good day.